Hello everybody. Welcome back. Got some footage today. Um, quite pretty much blew my mind. I mean, it takes a lot to blow my mind. Um, we're going to start out with a few days ago because this has been leading up to it day by day. So we'll just start there with a couple pieces of footage from the last couple days. All right, here we go. Starting out over here. Um, immediately, you can see on the left there. Well, forget the left. Let's just look at the sun for a minute. Where did it start in the sky? Right where it is. Where is it going? Right where it is. <laughs> Has it moved at all? No. What it's done is get dimmer. Now, the reason it's dimmer is because it just came out from behind that. And if you can't see it, I'll back it up for you. See this blurriness in the background here? See, these are our clouds down here. These are our clouds. This thing up here with the you know side illumination and dark side, that right there is the planet. The sun is coming out from below and behind the planet. And the best way to tell that is when it finally did get below it, it illuminated it. See, as the sun was down there, it was also there the whole time. Here, I'll show you. The sun starts out here. All the light is here. It's not moving from here. It's staying right here. It's getting dimmer, but it never really moved. It went behind something here and came out from behind something under here, which is that that planet right there you know how you know it's a planet because it didn't light up until the sun went down and the fact that it's blurry and in the background that is background people background is space not sky and that right there is a very clear view of what's going on up there why they shut down all the observatory. I mean, they don't want you seeing this stuff. I mean, is that not amazing right there? You can't tell me that's a cloud because you, you're, you're talking to a wall, talking out the side of your neck. That is a planet right there. It's not moving very fast at all because planets don't move very fast at all. Not in the scheme of things out in space. Granted, we are going 66,000 miles an hour, but... All right, now this is facing west at sunrise. If you notice, the light is going around something there. You see up here, the light is coming here and going out here, and all of this is dark. That is a planet right there. And then, yes, it is behind you. And look. This big shadow over here as the sun's coming down. Never really moves. Clouds are moving, but that's not what we're here to look at. I'm just going to be quiet and let you watch for a minute. You see how that big guy's? Uh, that was a big shadow. I tell you what. No doubt about it. And that was a couple days ago. All right. And look at that shadow. Look at the sky. It's lit up on the right, rounding around. And look at this cast shadow move down as the sun comes up. All right. Here we go again. On the left. Do you see this in the background right here? See this round? See how it's not moving? I'll, I'll keep circling it for you. But do you see how it's not moving as the sun goes down behind it? That is that planet I was just talking about. A few days ago on the first piece of footage that we watched and as you can see it's lighting up as the Sun goes down even brighter because that's what it's been doing and that's what I've been pointing out now this one's a little bit more fun I'm going to show you where everything is first 
there's a cast shadow right here. It'll stay dark the whole time and circular. The sun just went down behind something very dark and circular. And up here, you can see the planet moving the opposite direction of the rest of the sky. I'm going to go ahead and bring that back a little bit so you can see that one more time. All right. I'm going to speed it up a little more so you can actually really watch as that sun lights that up above. Can you see that? You see how it was behind at first? And also, you have the cast shadow over here. You got this cast shadow down here, and you have this moving by, very visible. See the cast shadow? Cast shadow, and then very visible up there, reflecting lots of light. You got light going down around what it went down behind, and you'll see a whole bunch of places where the light is reflecting still off other bodies. See how this is still circular up here? See how now we can see what it went behind, and light coming out all around, and illuminating what's above yeah we'll look at that one more time just for all the people that couldn't see it the first time do you see that up there above the sun this right here that is way way far away and yet so easily seen when the sky is somewhat clear because uh, yeah that's a planet and those of you who can't see that, don't want to see that. But then again, I've been pointing this out for some time now. <laughs> and this one's even more fun. Watch the sun as it comes down around the side of this. You can see it illuminating on the side. And here's the dark side over here. And I'm going to let the footage play through so you can see. You can even see the edge right there, right, right now, especially. Blue sky, blocking light, cutting off the sun. Uh, as the sun gets lower uh, and it gets closer to the end of the footage, I'll run it back where you can see it again. But look, it's now illuminating. And that was not our cloud either. See how it disappeared? <laughs> it was blurry and distant looking in the background. Background's a big thing. All right, let's have another look. See, now you ready for this? Keep your eye on the sun. How it wraps around the side. Did you see that? See that? And you can't say you don't. See how it's wrapping around the side of something? That is light coming around the side of the planet. Otherwise, it would not do that. <laughs> All right. And yes, that's probably the planet above there, too. See how it just is blurry. It's got dark side on it. You know, I mean, it's so incredibly obvious. I mean, even the light gives it away. See, I mean, look at look at all the lights just crashing over here, splitting up, giving us everything to look at. Because you got to remember, these planets are in between us and the sun. And that means all we see is the back side of them. The front side's illuminated, but the back side's not so much. Pretty dark. And in space, that just means a lighter or a darker shade of blue in the sky. It's really difficult to see sometimes, but it is there. All right. Talking about darker shades of blue, sun's coming down right there. As you can see, everything that goes by right here is in a shadow. See this? This cloud cannot create a shadow all the way across the sky. I'm sorry. See how the light's breaking around that? See how it's dark up there? None of this will light up until the sun gets low enough to light it up. See how dark it stayed? Now as the sun goes down, things are going to start to light up. See how everything behind there just got really bright? That's because it's the bottom of something. <laughs> or the side of something. And you can actually see it there in the background. If you look. I mean, it looks just like the first piece of footage 
I mean, the details of, you know, the way it looks and whatnot, I mean, it's definitely the same thing. All right, sun coming up on the right, off the side of the screen. We won't see the sun, but immediately, what do we see? Huge shadow on the left. Now, as that sun comes up, it shouldn't be stretching across the horizon like that already. That's giving us a clear indication that it's in a pinch. Now, as the sun does come up, look at that huge cast shadow it just put. See that? Tail light's just bouncing all over the place, off of everything until it actually starts to come up, and then it just stays dark up there, pretty much. See how everything just kind of went into shadow? See all that stuff? Every bit of it? All in the background up back in here? It all went into shadow. And it's closer to the sun than it was before. But no, it's not because it's not even in our atmosphere. It's well in the background. See how it's all in the background? It's nowhere close to us. See, the, the clouds at the bottom and the, you know, the ones that are just kind of cruising by here, a little here, you know, on the lower level. Yeah, that lower level is our cloud system. Anything above that is not a cloud system because <laughs> there are no systems up there. Not blocking light like that. I mean, that is a huge shadow. That has nothing to do with anything that's going on with the lens right now. Those are just falling into shadow, all of them. As the sun gets higher, they just keep going into darkness. See how this shadow up here? This is all shaded. All right. Sun coming up. That's a whole lot of reflection time. And look. There's what it was coming up from under, from behind, and this is what it's coming up underneath. And you can see it right there. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, that's just a cloud, but as that thing approaches, do you see how only one side of it is lit up? Like crescent illuminated, like the sun is like behind something right there? See how it's coming across? All right, next piece of footage. Now this is this is actually a really good piece of footage. These are all flares and glare over here. Don't don't worry about that. What's going to happen is the sun's going to be coming down and casting shadow all the way across the sky. Because what 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 I really want to prove to you on that here, if the sun was behind something coming down. The logical thing would be it would cast a shadow on our atmosphere and we would see it. Right? It would be casting a shadow if it was behind something, correct? All right, well, let's get the sun moving then so we can prove that. Look at this shadow, rounded shadow building over here. See how the light's breaking around right here? Now the shadow's all up in the sky. See how all this is in the dark? See how the light's breaking around something? Now the sun is getting lower and starting to finally illuminate the things that were in the sky that you think are just clouds. And now all of a sudden it gets really bright over here because the sun's actually lighting things up. But until then, you can see the light shift. See how the light shifts right there? See how it's not illuminating anything up there? And now it is. See, it falls in the shadow. And it can't be the clouds creating the shadows on the clouds because clouds don't do that. The sun is way far away and the clouds are supposedly right here. So if that's the case, then why are they in the shade? Like I said, something is casting a shadow. You can see that shadow go by a little bit. See how it's right here, that shadow? <laughs> Casting off the side of that. See all of our little clouds at the bottom there? They're in the dark. You want to know why? Because the sun already set. It's behind something. But what's going on up above there that's all lit up, that's not even part of the atmosphere. Because if it was, it wouldn't be lit up. The sun is already down. 
All right, now this location is really cool. Right away, look on the left side there. Now, there is no direct source of light hitting the lens yet. And yet there is a big shadow off the left side there. And you have a piece of blue sky that the sun is coming down and not really passing through. It's just like on the top and below it. And on the right hand side, we have that, what you would think is a cloud system. Now, think about it. Um, dark clouds, really thick dark clouds that look like storm systems are where? Down low. There's never been clouds behind clouds before. These are, this is all new. You're just not noticing it because it's been around for about five years now, but they've been spraying so much. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between what's what. Well, I'm going to show you the difference between what's what right now. There is no dark systems up that high in the atmosphere. That is in the background. That is not in the atmosphere. That is in the background. Because anything up that high can't be that thick. That high means ice crystals and just beginnings of, you know, clouds. They don't get that dark until they're ready to rain. Normally, as you see, they're way up too high and too far away to be doing any rain. Not on the planet anyway. Now, sun pops out from, and you see this shadow over here, dark side. See how the sun's coming down? Look, you can see the rounded edge and the cast shadow across the top of it as the sun comes down and goes behind that planet. And up here, you would think because the sun is now you know, behind the clouds, right? This would not be this color either. Next footage. Right away. Look at that. Side illuminated with the dark side. The sun is coming down around the side of that. See how it's blocking the light? Still blocking the light? Still blocking the light. Well, now, when the sun gets low enough, all that will brighten up. But right now, it's still blocking light. As you can see, it's getting darker. Now, see how it just lit up all of a sudden? See how this edge is here now? And all of this just out of nowhere just showed up and lit up? See how it's blocking the light? That means it's going up and out. See how all of those red, misty cloud things up there? Yeah, those aren't our clouds. That is the face of what has been casting that shadow the entire time. And it's finally lighting up right in front of you. Still casting shadow. See how the light is breaking around that whole area? Not lighting anything up until it gets below it. Like I said, planet we're catching a side illumination we're getting lucky look at that the light is going down and under breaking next location look how dark this is over here this is normally never looking like this except when it's coming down and around something else that's casting the shadow Now the sun's behind the, the mountain. Not even interfering with the lens anymore. Look at all this up here again. Same thing. Look at that planet right there. See how the light's breaking down and under? See how the light, now it finally lit things up? See this? Now it's illuminating. Surely people can see these things. Space and, and planets are not going to look like, like, an, like the moon. It's, not, it's just not going to happen. We're seeing big, great, big planets. The moon is the size of Australia, okay? You could wrap Australia all the way around the moon. That's how small it is. What you're seeing right there is a crescent illumination of the side of the bottom of the planet. And right behind it, you're seeing the dark side of that. It's like a huge moon lit up right in front of you. 
See how the light is going down and under? The light should be illuminating everything. And the reason that's a planet is because it's got a lit side and a dark side. Just like if the moon would look when it's next to the sun. Crescent illuminated. See how it's breaking all the way around that. And then as the sun gets lower, it starts to illuminate the bottom. But space is really dark. And we don't see this all the time. See the shadows? How the shadows are bending around the planet? Shadows don't bend around clouds ever. Not during the day, not at sunset. You get straight little streaks here and there. Normally from a, from a cloud, but that is not a cloud. That is the side of something far away, but still able to be seen. Because clouds don't create shadows across the entire sky. Not when the sun is behind them. Something to think about. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And please, share. Don't forget to subscribe either. I'm telling you. Y'all have a good weekend.